Hi everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA. As usual, in the middle of another job. This backyard a week ago was entire, it didn't have any, any structure, none of this. The entire thing was just old grass. They get a little concrete patio there, which came out, and then it was just old dying dead grass, you know, the kind that sucks up a lot of water. And um, we, have it, we have it designed out, and I just want to show you the elements of a successful landscape design. Um, I know a lot of people are pulling their grass out and they're installing um, gravel. I'm just, that's not okay. It, it's, it's increasing, there's so, so many issues with it on top of uh, creating the heat wave effect. And so with LA, we don't need more heat. What we need is a cooling down effect. And so what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna do a lot of drought tolerant natives here. Uh, or California friendly as we like to call them and then we're also going to create some function to the house to, to the landscape here So the homeowners are going to be able to enjoy this for years now some of the uh, items of, about this I'll just show you these are the uh, The mirror plants. That's the artemisia. This is a cyanothus. This is the uh, Pittosporin silver sheen. You got some grasses here some deer grasses some uh, salvias So you got a, real, a lot of nice really cool stuff. These are called seed Angelina. They're gonna stay low uh, we have wire here because we're actually going to install LED lighting. Uh, Simon went ahead and uh, put these pavers in. They actually custom put these in. They laid up. They laid the concrete in, and then they, the substance between here. You don't see it real often, but it's beginning real popular. This is called decomposed granite, but usually you see it as orange. And th in this case, it's actually gray. Come on and follow me, and we're going to show you a little bit more. Now, instead of a concrete patio, the homeowner is elected to do something permeable and something that, uh, which means rain can go through it, and yet it looks beautiful, and it's not as expensive as concrete. It's called decomposed granite, so we have the same thing here. We have a couple of benches, they're going to get stained. Over here, the heart of the system that keeps this whole thing alive. We have Rainbird Copper Shield technology drip irrigation. So we got valves that went in here. And then I wanted to show you that well, from the valves shoot out the drip irrigation. And there's drip irrigation in this whole entire yard underneath the ground. You can actually see some of it peeking out. We're going to cover this with a little more soil. We didn't actually dig it in because the backyard was so low and uh, the pavers are so high. We decided that you know what it's better that we go ahead and lay the lines on top We, we wrote it till the first added some soil amendment then we leveled it great graded the level And then we went ahead and put the drip irrigation on top Stapled it down and every 12 inches we have the rainbird copper shell technology drip, drip irrigation the capillary reaction is going to pull it through uh, And it's going to get watered now. What are we going to do here? We're not doing grass. We're actually going to install Carapia it's uh, ground cover. It's a grass substitute from Japan. It's really the rave. It's, it's 2016. If you really want to do something really cutting edge, really state of the art, do carapia instead of grass. If, if you want something that's not going to get more than, you know, say an inch and a half, inch, inch and a half. And on top of that, you actually have um, the, uh, the fact that once it's watered in and the roots go really deep, you're gonna water it once or twice a month. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that. It's it's fabulous. Uh, way in the back over there, we did have concrete uh, put in because we're gonna do a pergola there. That's this big structure with an overhang. We're gonna do some lighting in it. So just thought that th this is just some really, really cool stuff. Oh, and one little item too is uh, we were able to actually uh, reuse that Mexican rock that the gentleman is standing on right there. Uh, we're able to use that and we kept the bamboo. Oh, one, one last thing I think that you're going to absolutely love. So this apple tree uh, by the designer was slated to move, be taken out. Can you imagine that? Check out the apples on this. If you know anything about uh, my philosophy in life, it's like we need more fruit trees, not take them out. So we actually saved it. We cut a branch off there. And we installed a, a, a Japanese maple tree over here. Um, and everybody's happy. The, the homeowner's gonna get tons of apples from it. And uh, we did tie in a fertigation system in. So it's an automatic water fertilizer injection system. So every time it waters through drip irrigation, it's gonna get uh, fertilized. So just 
these, these are just really cool events. You don't you usually you see landscape after it's all completely done, but I just wanted to show you these are the elements that you really need, need to make a landscape pop that'll soothe the senses and, and uh, soothe the soul and dazzle the senses. So Mike from Enviroscape LA signing off. When you think sustainability and beautiful landscapes, think Enviroscape LA.